All right, guys, so I had pretty good responses off that last uh, Meiji video. So I'm gonna do a uh, base and clear. This is one of the comments with this gun. This is the Segola 3300 GTO 1.3 Tech Air Cap. Um, I've actually had a lot of questions about this gun because this is cheaper than a 4600. Um, and honestly, this, this thing is awesome. The, bi the biggest difference between this and say a 4600 is definitely weight and just overall like how they spray. This is not nearly as fast as a 4600. I would compare this more to like your GTI Pro Lite, uh, Techno Pro Lite, um, things like that. It's still a very, very, very capable gun and you guys will see. I'm gonna do, this is a uh, paint code SZ, Blue Flame from Ford. I'm gonna do this wet on wet and then I'll, I'll bust out my, my blower stands, get this dehydrated, and then show you the control coat. I'll let you guys know pressures and all of that, but you'll see just how easy this thing sprays. It, it's a great, great option, and it's a pretty affordable option. I'll put the price somewhere like right here that it is currently on Amazon, and if you guys are interested in most of the guns that I feature on this channel, they are available on Amazon. I'll try to link most of them in the description. I have a link tree thing set up there um, so you guys can easily find them. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and get into base and clear with the 3300 GTO. All right, guys. So before I get into base coating, I'm going to just give this a quick coat of blender. I did have a couple nibs on my sealer that I sanded out. So this will just give me a nice even surface. like that and I'll just quickly flash this so I can get right to color okay. all right so I know I said I was gonna do this wet on wet I'm not going to do that because I didn't realize this color uses a toner that's very runny so I'm gonna just do this individual coats that might actually work out better for you guys all right also I'm using, this is the, I know Europe has probably had these for a long time, but we've never had them. This is the Vented Cup from 3M. This is a part of their PPS line. Uh, my 3M rep dropped these off. I made a video on my social media about this, um, and I'm a big fan of these. I've been an RPS user for a lot of years, uh, but these, the quality of these cups, like the thickness of them, the way the vent work, just the way it attaches, I'm definitely switching when these become available, so I'm using that. Uh, but basically, I've got this gun set up, full fan, full fluid, uh, 22 PSI is what I do my coverage coats at. So I'll do probably two wet coats for coverage, and then I'll drop my pressure down to 16, do my control coat, get everything smoothed out, and then I'll go clean the gun. We'll get some clear chucked into this thing, and. We'll just we'll check it out along the way. So let's let's get some base on this. All right. So there's our first coat. No, I mean, it, it just sprays well. Um, it's not a speed demon. And like I said, it's very comparable to say like a pro light or something of that nature. But again, the biggest benefit with Segola, it's gasketless. You're never going to have to rebuild this. It's all machine fit parts, much like Iwata. Um, but yeah, they, it just flat out works and they last forever. My original one is like six years old at this point.
again, 22 PSI. We'll get through this second coverage coat. We'll be good and covered. I'll dehydrate that. And then we'll go ahead and control coat this. All right, so now we're gonna drop our pressure. Like I said, that I, I dropped it to about 17. That should be perfect for this. But basically, if you don't know what a control coat is, you're gonna be about a foot and a half away from the panel, just moving slowly. All you're doing is just smoothing out all the metallics. Just like so. All right, so that's the control coat done. Everything is nice and smooth. Um, I'm gonna let this go through a flash cycle for about eight minutes. Uh, my flash cycle basically turns those fans on and ramps up the temperature to about 100 degrees. And for eight minutes, that'll be perfect. Then I can just go ahead and clear this and that'll be job done. But as I mentioned before, this gun is gasketless. So there, there are nothing, like literally no gaskets in this at all this is all just machine parts there may be one gasket like a plastic ring in this assembly inside the gun but as far as where the fluid goes which is really what always needs rebuilt there's nothing it is you could take the air cap off and see that the nozzle is just stainless steel just threads in there's no gaskets on it whatsoever same thing in here there's just that one nylon around and I've never had any problems with that nylon uh, but other gun manufacturers insist on just keep using gaskets and then they get you when the gun starts to leak and you have to spend over a hundred dollars for a rebuild kit you don't have to worry about that with this uh, but as I had said this is heavier than a 4600 and other options in this price point but the, the longevity of this thing and like the build quality of it kind of makes up for it in the end. We'll see how this thing sprays clear. I'll bring you guys back when this is good and flashed and we're ready to clear with it. And for clear coat with this gun, I like to use about 26 PSI. Nothing really over that because then it just it over atomizes and slows down and it, it just doesn't perform as well. So I'm gonna use about 25 to 26 and we'll see how this looks. All right, we're set at 26. Pop my vent open, and let's let's go ahead and get our first coat on. All right, so that's the first coat so far. Everything looks as expected. I did see I've got a chunk of crap right here that I'm gonna have to polish. That kind of stuff happens, it's not a big deal. Uh, this, like I said, this truck has over 100,000 miles on it. So there are some chips randomly throughout this tailgate. It is what it is. We're gonna make it look as good as we possibly can, uh, but Overall, I'm happy with it for the first coat, and I'm gonna give it a five minute, let it tack up, and I'll see you guys for round two. This is good and sticky, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put my second coat on it. I'll show you guys the end results, and we'll kind of do a last little final thoughts on this thing, why I really enjoy these, uh, and kind of show you how you can get these set up, because you don't have to get them set up with a 1.3 like I have this one. 
Well, I'll talk to you about that in just a minute. All right, guys, that's after two coats. See that finish. You can see like a couple of dirt nibs and stuff that I've got to buff out the big ones where, oh, they kind of float over. You can see them right there. But overall, dude, I'm pretty happy with that finish. Uh, let's get outside the booth. I'm gonna hit the bake cycle on this and I'll kind of show you the other options that you have for this gun. But yeah, that's Blue Flame Metallic Ford. All done. All right, so we hit the bake cycle already. Uh, these are the three 3300 GTOs that I own um, in the one extra nozzle set. Uh, this was my first one. I don't know if you guys can tell in the video. The body style change got a little bit more rounded. Um, honestly, this is a little bit more comfortable in the hands versus the old one. This one was really skinny, and this is still to this day after six years, this is my sealer gun and I use it every single day. But let me pop the nozzle out. Actually, I'll just show you this one. I can show you guys how the nozzle sets look. Come on, if I can get the styrofoam out. Eat. There we go. This is the nozzle. This is a 2.0 nozzle. Um, Basically, like when you buy a different nozzle needle set, you just get a needle and a nozzle, right? So I have a 2.0 for polyester primer. Um, and then I have uh, this one right here. This has a 1.8 GTO EPA air cap. This is my primer gun. I also use this for Evercoat Lightspeed UV primer uh, because it requires a 1.8, which is it's strange, but it builds really nice. Um, so I like using it, but yeah, you can get these things configured in so many different ways. If you look on Amazon, I'll, I'll put a link, uh, in the description of this video, but you can get it in a one, three, a one, four, I believe a one, two, uh, I think a one, five or a one, six, a one, seven, one, eight. I mean, they have like literally every nozzle size for this dang thing, whatever material that you want to spray I think they even have a pressure fed version of this if I'm not mistaken uh, but yeah the 3300 GTO it's fantastic guns for base coat um, awesome for clear too they're just I'm a really close and fast kind of clear sprayer so I tend to use 4600 or my Meiji or what else do I like for clear I honestly like the the 3m plastic gun too for clear coat um, that's one of those things on occasion. Once I get those vented cups, I'll like it more for clearing. But yeah, I just, I like stuff that's a little bit faster. Uh, but these, as you've seen, you can get a really great result. Like it's, it's one of the best all rounders. So you could go out and buy yourself a one three and then buy a needle nozzle set for a one eight. And you have one gun that'll literally do every material that you need primer polyesters, base clear, like everything. So that's the 3300 GTO. I, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm hoping here, I know you guys have seen the video of the Series 3 toolbox. I'm hoping here soon that I get the end lockers so I can add those to it and I'll make an update video on like still how, how I like this box. And to be completely honest with you, I still love it. I still don't love this, which is a simple fix that I just need to get around to making a lift for. But yeah, that all works great. And I'm hoping that I can get those end lockers, make an update video. Um, I'm really gonna push hard this year, you guys, on creating YouTube content, more of this long format stuff and like showcasing techniques, tools, uh, pretty, I mean, anything that you guys wanna see or any questions that you guys may have about 
10K or prepping or body work tools of that nature, just let me know and I'll make a video on it. Um, I do have dent machines. I have a glue pole system. I have all kinds of stuff. So get in the comment section. You can comment whatever you want to see. You can find me on Instagram, TikTok as well. Also on LinkedIn. That's kind of one of those things I post like once a month on there. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Links to all this stuff I will put down in the description below. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And then every time I drop a video, if you want to know about it, hit the bell notification little thing and it'll tell you. You'll get a notification on your phone. Uh, but yeah, until next time, thanks for watching.